101.7 and Cool TV now presents high school football week number five. It's the battle, Conneaut and Meadville. Brought to you in part by the Valley Inn, Walker Brothers Chevrolet, Triple Deuce Saloon, Lakeside Beauty Salon, Meadville Overhead Doors, Ralston's Hardware, Howard Hanna Bainbridge Real Estate, McCandless Ford with locations in Meadville and Mercer. They present the Red Zone, ZombieFightNight.com, by Armstrong, Flix TV and Appliance, Westbury United Methodist Retirement Community, and by the Area Shopper, and a very pleasant good evening, everybody. Welcome to Bender Field, Meadville Area Senior High School, for this battle between the Meadville Bulldogs and the Conneaut Eagles. The cash, mash, bash tonight on an absolutely beautiful night for football. Chuck Stop, Gary Patton, Joe Vilke. We have the call for you tonight on Cool, cool TV. Both teams out on the field going through their pregame activities. Game will be getting underway in just about one half hour. How have these teams been doing so far? Last time we saw the Bulldogs was opening night against the Corgan Eaters. And Meadville come away with an impressive victory. Since that time, they have gone two and one. Now three and one on the campaign. That lone loss was to Butler. And it was a tight contest, but Butler got the best of the Bulldogs as they fell behind earlier. Meadville lost their kicker. He had to go for the extra two-point conversion. Ouch, they didn't make it. And the dogs fell in that particular one. Meanwhile, for the Conneaut Eagles, opened up against the tough Bisons team of Fort LaBeouf. They bowed 29 to nothing. Then against Seneca, won that one 32 to 13, taking care of the Bobcats. Then against the Huskies of Harbor Creek, they were at Harbor Creek, shut out for the second time on the campaign, final 42 to nothing. And then the last week against Warren, Warren always a tough team, Connie went up there last week, doubled them up. Connie at Eagles 24, the Warren Dragons 12. So Connie had off to the best start they have had in many years. And a couple weeks ago, they won their first home game in three years. So things are looking promising under coach Josh Blood. Of course, the coach of the Meadville Bulldogs, Ray Collins, will talk to both coaches as the pregame show rolls on right here on cool 101.7 and we want to invite armstrong viewers here tonight watching it we'll take this time out be right back with more on cool 101.7 cool 1017 online.com and cool tv Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area.
And welcome right back to Bender Field, Meadville Area Senior High School as we get ready for Conneaut and Meadville. Last year, the Meadville Bulldogs, well, they rushed, roughed up Conneaut 62 to nothing. So, Conneaut tonight will try to get back and get some revenge. Last week, for the Conneaut Eagles, he was quarterback Ben Eastler. 152 yards in passing, passed for two touchdowns, and had a total of one rushing touchdown. So Ben Eisler has really been doing it this year for the Conneaut Eagles. Meanwhile, when you take a look at Meadville, they usually run two quarterbacks on the offense. Ryan Rachel, when they're in the wing tee, when they go to the spread offense, it'll be Jacob Thompson. Now, Ryan, a 6'1 senior, 170 pounds, and Thompson is a sophomore, 5'8", 165, as the Bulldogs basically have both the offense and the defense rolling out so far this campaign with just their one loss. Jordan Lawrence, you expect him in the backfield. J.R. McClure also a running back for them when they go to the wideouts, split in Damian Jenkins. Expect to hear a lot of passing to him and also Nick Williams. Now McClure is a senior 5'10", 150. Jenkins a senior 5'11", 175. Nicholas Williams, senior 6' at 170. Also, they have used A.J. Philippa at quarterback. He is a sophomore, 5'11", 175. Those are the key players for the Bulldogs. But when you take a look at the backfield, Breeden Miller. What a season. At running back, junior 5'7", 150 pounds, as we told you. Big week last week for the Claudia Eagles. And tonight, also going on a couple other things. It is homecoming. Right now, they're introducing the contestants for the homecoming queen and the king. Also tonight, it is veterans night here at Bender Field. So once again, like it was in Cockerton when they wore the camouflage, Meadville will have the camouflage uniforms on tonight, at least the jerseys as they celebrate veterans. We're just about uh, 18, 19 minutes away from the opening kickoff here between the Bulldogs and Cash. All right, we're going to take another time out. We come back, we'll have more on Cool 101.7. Jesus Christ. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. Armstrong has been a part of the Meadville community for 70 years. We helped you get online with Zoom Internet. Our Breaking Bread program began fighting hunger in our communities. Enhanced Wi-Fi delivered coverage, security, and control of your network. Zoom Extreme brought internet speeds up to one gig to the community. And in 2022, Armstrong was named Cablefax Independent Operator of the Year for the second time. When you support Armstrong, you're supporting your local community.
Chuck Stump, Gary Patton, welcome right back to Bender Field here in Meadville. We're getting ready for high school football tonight. It is the Meadville Bulldogs and the Conneaut Eagles, cool 101.7, and also on Armstrong tonight as they continue with the ceremonies for homecoming. This week, number five of the high school football season. Last night, in case you missed it, on Cool 101.7 and Cool TV, we had the Dig for a Cure fight against breast cancer in girls' volleyball. What a battle it was before a packed crowd at the woodshed at Maplewood. It went five sets as the Lady Tigers won the first two sets. Then it was Cockerton winning the second two sets. It went to the fifth set. And Maplewood jumped out to a 5-1 lead, never looked back. They went on for the victory in that one, 15 to 12. But huge crowd, enjoyed the contest very much. And once again, they got a lot of money for that one there. Over the last 15 years in that dig for a cure, they estimated they have raised between more or less a Out there, put side track. Better. Two and two on the pregame show. Their number last week, 24-12, big gear over the Warren Drive. So always, that long two-hour trip. Oh, we know that one quite well, but nevertheless, a great win. You know, win's a win, but, you know, to go down there and win on their field. And, of course, anytime you're on the road, sometimes some people like it, some coaches, players like to travel and win. Uh, others rather, of course, play on their home turf. Of course, we're in Meadville, and I tell you what, once again, not an easy task, but they could be the spoiler maker. Cash being on the road again. So here we yes. go, you know. Meanwhile, the dogs were on the road to Titusville last week. Of course, their arch rivals down there, Titusville Rockets, and uh, they handled them rather roughly, coming away with a 33-6 to six win to build things up. So both teams coming in off of victories. Well, I tell you what, that's a good thing right there, obviously, the momentum going on both sides. And uh, Cash, of course, they want to keep that momentum going. And, and, boy, that would be a huge win if they come in here and could be the spoiler maker tonight. But anything's possible. We talk about that's why we play the game. So, uh, Chuck, I tell you what, Coach Ray, and I'm sure he's got a lot up his sleeve, a fantastic coach that has turned the whole program around on the Meadville side. Yeah, you, Absolutely. You know, we talked about that. Josh Blood is the coach over at Conneaut. Doing so a great job, the, too. Yes, I, mean, I had a chance to talk to him earlier. We're going to be running those interviews coming up very shortly. Here on Cool 101.7, both Coach Blood of Conneaut and, of course, the coach of the Meadville Bulldogs. That is Coach Ray Collins. Gorgeous night here tonight. Temperatures, we start around 70, but it'll be dropping off into the 50s by the time this one is over here tonight. Probably somewhere around the 9 o'clock hour. Of course, artificial field up here at Meadville High School. The Big M representing Meadville at midfield. The light green, the dark green, colors on the field, and the big numbers. I like those big numbers, Gary. Absolutely, and I tell you what, the field, of course, always in great shape, being artificial, walking down there, and yeah, another night dried out. Should be uh, get plenty of good traction. That should not be a problem tonight. No rain, no snow. So once again, a great night for high school football. Homecoming here tonight at Beadville High. They had the festivities a little earlier. Also, Veterans Night here at Big Air. Well, I tell you what, there's no doubt about that. From the time I come in, all the veterans were in the parking lot. They're inside. They got a Jeep over here. Got a deal big a cannon almost. They're going to shut that uh, off at least one touchdown by Meadville. Uh, they were going to do it after everyone's, but I guess there were some people complaining. Oh, come there's on. There's always somebody complaining. Oh, come on. So they Friday decided. Friday night football. Make some noise. That's right. Oh, my. The weekend is here, and it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely, it is. Looking forward to it. 
We're out on the road again tomorrow with a classic Iron Crudu at the Voodoo Brewery. That's the last cruise into the season, believe it or not. Well, I, today is officially the last day of summer. How oh, sad no. that is. Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've looked at the calendar and several calendars just to double check. And yeah, here it is, the last official day of summer. But it's going out very nice. So Beautiful. And it looks like autumn is going to be, looks, well, I tell you what, the next week looks great, you know, temperature-wise. So I'll take it, right? Absolutely. Got to enjoy all yeah, these while we have them because... Two months from now, we'll wish it was this warm. Oh, I don't even want to think about and that. I, I don't either. Oh, well. But I tell you what, the band making their way onto the field. Uh, wow, I tell you what, all uh, the... Uh, looking down here, all the majorettes, and it looks like all the... Uh, all the ladies down are all dressed up in their long gowns. I tell you what, there's a crowd down here in front of us on the 50-yard line. We've got a choir going to sing. we got the, uh, the veterans here on the 40-yard line, present the colors. Here we go. It is absolutely fantastic to see this. Once again, Chuck Stop, Big Gear, Joe Velke behind the camera, Cool 101 TV, as I always say. But uh, we are Cool 101.7 FM, of course, on your radio dial, bringing you the action every Friday night. Daryl back at the controls. We love Daryl so very much back there, twisting all the knobs. All right, we're going to take another time out on the pregame show. We'll be coming back right after this time out as you get ready for the Bulldogs to come out on the field. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. Transform your business internet with Armstrong Business Solutions. Our advanced 10G fiber optic network gives you the ability to experience lightning fast upload and download speeds with unlimited data. But that's not all. Wireless internet backup combats network disruptions and Business Pro Wi-Fi helps monitor and manage your network from anywhere. Get your business up to speed with connectivity that works for you from Armstrong Business Solutions. Go to armstrongonewire.com slash business. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. And we're just about six or seven minutes away from the kickoff here tonight. Beadville Bulldogs and the Cash Eagles, Chuck Stump, Gary Patton, and Joe Velke here on the call tonight as we get ready for this big battle. And they're waiting for Cash to come out. Cheerleaders out there. Bands out of there. We're ready to roll almost, Big Air. Yeah, we are. I tell you what, once again, the Eagles making their way out there. We were waiting for the dogs to come onto the field. Great crowd on hand. They continue to file in here. Once again, Veterans Night along with Homecoming. So there's a lot going on here at Meadville High School. Cash has made their way to the end zone, and they will be coming out here momentarily looking for a big win tonight. Okay, let's see if we can hear now from the coach of the Maidville Bulldogs, Coach Ray Collins.
back down on the field here at Bender Field, Meadville High School, getting ready for the big mash cash clash here at Meadville tonight. With me is the coach of the Meadville Bulldogs, Coach Ray Collins. Coach, everything set up. Your team off to a good start, three and one. The only blemish, one point loss to those tornadoes. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I mean, we're one, well, two points away, I guess you'd say, from being four and zero oh right now. And and that was just. Uh, a set of un unfortunate circumstances down in Butler when we lost our extra point kicker, Nick Williams, uh, early in that game before anybody had scored, forced us to go for two, and, and we weren't very good uh, in that situation, unfortunately. But we've moved forward. We've uh, found a very reliable quick uh, kicker in a young freshman, uh, Gio Vincic, who's been doing an outstanding job. So uh, overall, special teams has really improved greatly over the last couple of weeks, as has the offensive defense. So really looking forward to putting together a complete game tonight. Last time we was here, he's taking on Corey, opened up the season against the Beavers, got a big Von Dickert win there. Yeah, I tell you what, Corey, uh, and, and now there's just the two of us in the in the uh, District 10 Championship, uh, you, you can see like a, a real motivated football team in Corey, and uh, I, I see them getting better each and every week, so I think it's going to set up a really good showdown at the end of the season for the D10 crown. All right, tonight you have the big rivalry, other side of the county, of course. You're in the middle part of it, and of course, Connie over there in Lyonsville, always a big battle. Connie had had your number for a few years, but the last few years you're getting back, it now stands at 7-6, Connie on. Yeah, they do, they do still they do still have the advantage. I, I see that. I, I tell you what, you know, you you look back at the at the Pat Gold era. That was a very strong era of football out there at Cash. They had a lot of tremendous athletes out there, uh, Sheets and, and Litwin, and the list goes on and on. And Hunter Merritt and all those guys. And uh, I tell you what, but what I see, I don't think you can uh, you can take Cash uh, lightly at all because I think Josh Blood uh, in his second year here is doing an outstanding job of coaching this football team. He's got him motivated. He's got him focused. It's got them playing at a high level, and, uh, you know, it is a rivalry, so I think you can throw the records out the door when they come in here to Bender Field tonight. I think you're going to see a, a, a Cash Eagles team that's very motivated, is going to play in the spirit of the previous uh, teams that have come before them, and I think you're going to see a really good football game. Well, they're coming off of that uh, victory over Warren the other night. Warren, of course, not as strong as they have been in the past, but always a big school. Well, yeah, I mean, Warren, um, they, they're under new leadership this year. Coach Morelli stepped down, and they got a new coach in there. And I, and I know what it's like to be a new coach and, and try to get your systems installed and get your kids to believe in your system. And, and he's probably having some growing pains there. But here's the thing. Warren's still always a solid program with solid football players. And, you know, Cash to go up there, make that trip, and then beat them like that, I think that says a lot about how well they're playing football right now. Well, Connie, with a good quarterback and Ben Easler. Yeah, Ben, I, I tell you, I, I love Ben. He's he's a, he's a game-time guy. He plays hard, uh, throws the ball well. He runs the ball well. He's, you can tell he's obviously the, the emotional leader out there. He guides that offense very well. And he's got some dangerous guys, Max Getz and, and some other guys, uh, Nate Green that he can throw to in space, uh, Logan Groover. I mean, they've got a lot of weapons over there, and I think uh, – I think as long as Ben's under center tonight, uh, they, they've got as good a chance as any. Well, and for your ball club, a couple quarterbacks you use depending on what the offense you're running. Right, yeah. When we're in our base wing tee package, we use senior Tate Reichel, who's been uh, doing a really good job of leading our offense this year. And then when we kick over into our spread stuff, you know, we bring in sophomore Jacoby Thompson, who's really putting together a nice season for us in his first year in that package. Certainly some nice backs for your ball club this year. Yeah, I tell you what. I, that we, You know, we revamped the whole backfield. We had to replace them all. But if you look at, you know, Brighton Anderson and Braden Miller are just having outstanding seasons, running the ball hard. Uh, they block so well for each other. And then sophomore Jordan Lawrence coming through the middle, running between the tackles for us, has really done a great job as well. So really pleased with the three horses we got back there. They all run hard. Um, they're very unselfish. They don't care who gets the ball as long as, you know, we're picking up yardage, moving the sticks, scoring, and, and winning ball games. Other side of the football, of course, the defense. A couple shutouts. Yeah, I tell you what, defense is starting to play really well. You know, um, the defense, I think we, we had some growing pains at the beginning of the season as well. Uh, getting guys in the right position, getting guys to, to learn their assignments. And, and what I've seen day-to-day -day in practice, week-to-week -week with our schedule, these guys are uh, it's just starting to click. The chemistry is building. They're flying around the football field. You know, they're gang tackling, very aggressive again. The blitz packages are, are hitting real good. And I think the secondary is playing uh, really solid back behind the linebackers. Finally, Coach, keys to the victory here tonight against Connie Hunt. Well, the big key, really, we can't start out slow. I think that's what I've been saying uh, all along is that we, we have so far 
These first four games come out very slow, come out kind of flat and uninspired. And that's the big emphasis this week is start fast, play a, a complete game of four quarters. And then, you know, uh, we have to keep Ben Eastler contained tonight, and we have to, uh, you know, make sure he's not throwing the ball all over the field on us. And then when we're on offense, uh, I think we have to consistently, you know, possess the ball, put together uh, long drives, move those sticks, and, uh, you know, just kind of own the time of possession and uh, wear them down as best as we can. Coach, good luck in tonight's ball game. Always a pleasure to talk with you, Coach. Thanks, Chuck. You too. There he, there he is, the coach of the Meadville Bulldogs, Coach Ray Collins, and we are ready to go as it will be Meadville receiving tonight's opening kickoff. Cash, mash, bash here on WMVL, Lightonsville, Meadville. And once again, McCandless Ford locations in Meadville and Mercer, they present the Red Zone. Red Zone, of course, is any team that gets inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Presented by McCandless Ford. We're ready to go. Connie up, tease it up. Thompson and Anderson back for the Meadville Bulldogs. Kickoff is underway right to left. A real short kick grabbed up front and falling down at the 39-yard line. They may spot it at the 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Meadville Bulldogs. First and offense out here tonight. Yeah, great field position to say the least. Ball placed at the 38, as Chuck said. Well, maybe, yeah. 39, make that, now they're going to go back. I thought so, that's okay. where his knee comes down, Gary. Off the road, 38-yard line, first and 10. Wing man, all right. Rako quarterbacking, going to pitch that ball out, trying to get to the outside, trying to turn the corner, and being... Brought down across the way after a very, very short gain was Lawrence. Jordan Lawrence, sophomore 5'9", 150. Well, I think he lost one on he, that one. He's go back to the 37-yard line. Good defense by Connie out there, but yeah. Yep, absolutely. Second and 11. Opening drive of the game. Friday night football. Cool 101.7 FM along with Cool TV. Quarterback Thompson in there now hands the ball off, taking the ball off left tackle and take the ball over the 40, maybe out to about the 41-yard line. And once again, that is B. Jordan Lawrence on the carry. Minus one on his first one, picks up about three on this one, third down and seven. See if they take it to the air. Handoff. Right tackle. 45 first, first down. down. Midfield. 40. 35. 30. 25. 20. 15. 10. 5. It is a touchdown. Meadville on the third play of the night. Just like that. Took it to the house. 6 nothing. Meadville Bulldog. 10-34. First quarter. Wow. So quickly, the dogs are on the scoreboard. Went off the right side of the line, had a block off the tackle, turned around, cut back against the grain, wide open field, took it, here we go, point after. They're attempting the kick. Our solo set up for it. Cole Bose to the left, ball's down, the kick is up. We had whistles though, and they say it is no good. Height, the distance, Six but it nothing went to the left. Touchdown run by Miller. Let's take this 60 second timeout, and we'll be right back on cool, 101.7.
And it is. Meadville kicking off. Conniot fumbles it. Meadville may be on it. Fumbled away again. Still loose on the field. Conniot says they have the ball, but we'll wait for the officials. I believe Kanye does have the ball. Who's coming off that pile on the bottom? It is 33, I think. Yep. Nathan Brayton comes up with it on the bottom of the pile. Ball Nathan placed. Green, I'm sorry, a junior 5'9". Ball placed at the 39-yard line. First and 10, cash down 6 nothing. Their first offensive series. First and ten. Ben Easler doing the quarterbacking in the shotgun. He keeps it himself. Gets hardly anything. Might have got tough back. yard. That's about it. Oh, Looks yeah. like the officials may give him one tough one. Now the, the nose of the football at the forty. He didn't even get well, half a, a yard, yard. Maybe half a yard. Second and a long nine. McClure on the tackle. Ben brings up in the shotgun. Quarterback and, keeper. And he gets nailed. No place to go. Right. See where they spot this one. Might maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. Yep, that's where they're going. So it'll be a third down and 10. Faked the handoff. Logan Grover, and then he kept the ball. But I tell you what, three of the dogs right there to bring him down. Right back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10. 9.30 on the clock. Clock has stopped for some reason. Here's Cash. Huddles at their 30-yard line and breaks the huddle. Third and long. See if they take it to the air. Empty backfield for Easler. Dog Back to pass. Blitz. Straight over the middle, lets her go. Intercepted by Meadville at midfield. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Meadville. Boy, they're making it look easy tonight. With nine minutes here in the first quarter, it is 12 to nothing, Meadville. Interception, touchdown, run back on the I T. We're going to attempt to kick again on the point after last time. A little bit to the left. Cold post to the left. Hold everything whistles. Well, they got to have a football. Oh, well, that would help. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> Giovanni, jump the PAT, gold boost to the left. Ball set down, the kick is up, this looks good, and the official said it is 13 to nothing. Meadville will be coming back with more right after we remind you that tonight's broadcast also brought to you in part by Triple Deuces Saloon. They're located at 157 13 U.S. Highway, 6 and 19 north of Meadville, formerly Willie G's location. Great food and drink, including flatbread pizza, yummy appetizers, along with light fried green tomatoes. Boy, those are also delicious. And also crispy pork belly and more. Also delicious wings, all at Triple Deuces Saloon. They have just opened, once again, their location, 15713 U.S. Highway 6 and 19, north of Meadville. That's Triple Deuces Saloon. Well, Big Gear, dog's off to a quick start here on a long pass touchdown and then an INT. Well, I tell you what, what a great job on the offense, and they turn around the defense, get the interception. Run it right down, catch it in for an easy six. Point after was good that time. 13 nothing. we stand. Nine minutes on the clock. It is the first quarter of action. 
Cash has definitely got to regroup right now. You can't let it get out of hand. Absolutely not. Trying to get revenge after last year's 62 to nothing thrashing. And once again, they have trouble picking it up on a low kick on the ground. Finally, they fall on it across the way, but that's both of the kickoffs by Meville. They fumbled away, but was able to get it back. Just about the same area, too. Looks like the 38, last time they had it, the 39. Three plays through the interception. Their first turnover cost them six. Time to regroup. Running game was going nowhere. So they went to the air, and that was not good. Ball at the 38-yard line. We got a long way to go, though. Cash coming up to the line. Trolling at 13 to nothing. High snap pulled down by Aisler, and boy, the back gets nailed and brought down back at the 30 yard line. I believe number 60 Grover. was in there. Yep. Grover pulled down for a loss, clear back to the 32 yard line. Loss of six, second and 16. So far, the offense sputtering for Conneaut. McClure, another one, number four. In the pistol. Second and long. Hazler turns around, looking, throws it to the near side of the field, and incomplete. Intended receiver for Conneaut, Nathan Green, well overthrown. Couldn't catch up to that one. Out of bounds, third and 16. Well, I I'll tell you what, great coverage by the dogs, no doubt about it. You might want to try going a little bit shorter. I mean, he was, he got the ball off, but boy, I tell you what, they were breathing down his back. And, of course, the, the secondary doing a great job of coverage for the dogs. Here we go. Third. Another long and three for Conneaut. Yeah. They were third and ten the last time through the pick. Now third and 16. Handoff straight up, up breaking tackles, 35-40. Gets back to about the original line of scrimmage, maybe plus a couple more before he is dragged down. Well, he managed to get up to the 40-yard line. So that was about an eight-yard pickup and about eight yards short of the first down. So here we go, 745. They are forced to punt. And just a single safety back for the Meadville Bulldogs to return. Yeah, better be a good snap. They're coming hard. And that will I be should. Thompson. There's a flag right there. Hold everything. Looked like number 20 for Meadville. Might have crossed the line. Or it could have been drawn up. Let's see. Ball's picked up. I think they're going to march it off against Connie. No. Oh, fourth down play. We're going the other way, Gary. Meadville's got it anyway. Yeah, well, the ball was at the 40, and now they gained two yards, and Meadville's got the ball. Back to pass. Looking. Aaron at wide, wide open. open. 12, 10, 5. Easy touchdown for Meadville. 19 to nothing. We're not even halfway through the first quarter. Touchdown, Anderson. Well, I tell you what, nobody around. The closest one was 21 for Conneaut. So they had blown coverage on that one, to say the least. Here we go, the point after. Snap, kick. Up, and it is good again. Already 20 to nothing, 7.19 to go in the first period. Meadville ahead of Conneaut. Let's take a 60-second timeout.
When we say don't trust your internet to just anyone, we mean it. At Armstrong, our network is monitored 24-7 by multiple highly trained engineers, not just a single person. What else? If you ever have a problem, all service visits are free. That's right, we come to your home to fix things, unlike those other guys. Armstrong, unmatched employees, unmatched technology, unmatched fiber network. All right, as Meadville's kicked off again, the ball is gathered in by Wyatt Luke, just a freshman. Had it, bobbled away, picked it back up, and then got nailed back at the 26-yard line of Connie at first and 10 for Connie Otto. They were all over him. First and 10 again for Connie, down 20 to nothing. Not even halfway home in the first quarter. Out of the pistol, back to pass, looks, throws it, intercepted again by Meadville. Wow. He intercepted this time by Meadville's Ryan Overton. And they set up shop on the Conneaut. 37-yard line. 7.04 on the clock. <laughs> 20 to nothing. Meadville well in control here in the first quarter. And the ball back again. Got a little confusion going on. I think Coach Ray had to take a timeout and he did. All right, let's take a Time out here on Cool 101.7 and Cool TV from Bender Field. It is Meadville 20 and Conneaut nothing. We'll be right back. Chuck Stop, Gary Patton, Joe Vilke, Meadville. It is week number five of high school football season, and boy, looks like the route is on here at Meadville. Bulldogs up 20 to nothing. 7.04 to go, opening quarter. Bulldogs have the ball back at the Conneaut. 37. Back. Running, breaking some breath. Flag right goes down. down. 35, 20. 15, 10, 5 to the pylon, dies in. But hold everything a flag. We're bringing this back. Hold against the dogs. Yeah. So they'll step off at 10 yards. Their first penalty tonight. No, he haven't ran many plays. <laughs> <laughs> haven't had, yeah. And they're up 20 to nothing. Ran three plays, touchdown, interception, touchdown, and then a 38-yard romp for another touchdown. 
Yeah, a little bit of a break there for Cash. And yeah, marching him back. Penalty brings the ball out to the 47-yard line of Conneaut. First and 10 as they break the huddle. This is a keeper this time trying to get to the outside. Got the corner, Rickle, 45-40. Gets almost back to the original line of scrimmage. See where they spot it down. Might be about a yard short of that. But it is second down coming up. And I guess he got to the 39, second and 12. Yeah, a little sweep to the right side. Trying to pick up some lost yards from that penalty. Good for eight. Back to pass. Swings it out here Wide in the left open. flat. Caught 35, 30, 25, 20 down the sideline. Right. He stepped out of bounds. At wow. the 18-yard line, or that was another touchdown. <laughs> Want to remind you, in the red zone, brought to you by McCandless Ford, locations in Meadville and Mercer. <laughs> Nicholas Williams on the catch and run until he stepped out of bounds. Picking up their first first down. Right straight up the gut and cuts to the left side, makes the ball down to about the 15-yard line. He'll spot it right there. Wheeler in on the tackle. So it's second and about seven. Lawrence on the carry for Meadville. Picks up those three yards. In trouble in the backfield, scampers away from one would-be tackler. Has the ball maybe to the 10-yard line. Might be the 11-yard line. McClure that time with the carry. Right, Ethan Green had him, but he couldn't quite hold on to him. And then he got some assist there, and they finally brought him down. Third. Third and four. Less than five minutes remain in first quarter. Five minutes. 20 nothing dogs. Rachel back, looks, throws left side wide open, caught again down to the five yard line. That'll be a first down, Meadville. First and goal. Meadville threatening again. On the catch that time for the dogs, Ryan Everton. First and goal to go. In the Flat shotgun down. whistle. Two the legal procedure down. cost him five. Second and gold. Ball will be placed at about the eight yard line. Once again inside the red zone presented by McCallis Ford locations in Meadville and Mercer. Rachel quarterbacking in the shotgun. Lawrence to his right, keeper by the quarterback, trying to sweep to the outside. The five cuts back up against the green. Diving doesn't quite make it. He stops short of the goal line. Quarterback, keeper. I tell you what, what a great job. They pursued down the line to get him, but he still managed to pick up a little bit of real estate. Didn't get in, but... No 
now break the huddle. Trips to the right. One to the left. Shotgun again. Quarterback keeper again. Up the middle. The end zone in for the touchdown. 26 nothing. Meadville still in the first period on the quarterback keeper. And the cannon goes off again. <laughs> Gotta love it. The crowd eating it up here. 26 to nothing. 3.31 on the clock. So we get ready for the point after. Veterans Night homecoming also in Meadville. 154 yards from Meadville in this first quarter. We still got 3.31 to go. They'll go for the PAT. Ball's down, kick is up, but I heard a whistle. Now they say it's no good. So he said, one of three tonight. Another timeout on the field. This will be a 30-second timeout. 26 nothing. the Meadville Bulldogs over cash. We'll be right back. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. In Meadville and the home fans there, well, they have a lot to cheer about. Not much across the way for Cash. They are down 26 to nothing. Three minutes, 31 seconds remain in the first quarter. Yeah, you heard me correct, first quarter. Ready for the kickoff. Maybe special teams can do something here. Well, so far tonight they've had trouble with kickoffs. Ball's going to be kicked out of bounds. I think the flag will go down. Kicking the ball out of bounds on a kickoff. Tonight's broadcast being brought to you in part by Zombie Fight Night. Howard Hanna, Bainbridge Kaufman Real Estate, Ralston's Hardware, the Meadville Overhead Doors. Thank all our great sponsors. So they'll place the ball at the 35-yard line. Connie had started all their drives in that area. Started at 39. They're 38. They're 37. Now they're at the 35. I don't know where the chain gang's going. They're up at the 40. I have no idea what the chain gang. We got to... There we go. Now we're ready to play. First and 10, Conneaut. Easler waits for the snap. In the pistol. Now he looks to his coach. Coach Blood sets the team again. And the snap. Go to Gruber, fumbled, it's loose. Meadville's after it, did they get it? They say they haven't. Wait for the officials. Meatville's ball. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Third turnover here in the first quarter. Wow. 3.24 on the clock. Connie had just that was a bad handoff, but he couldn't hold on to it. And the ball hit the ground. We saw it rolling, and that was it. One of the Meadville players were always in the backfield already. It's a matter of falling on it. But... Ben Walker, freshman, 5'8", 125, fell so, on that so look, 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 Now the ball's at the 27, first and 10. Turning into a nightmare for Connie Otto. Flags Breaking go down. Tackles, and yep, we'll wait for the call on that one there. In the holding zone, it's been the only downfall of Meadville. They've had three penalties. One was declined. Let's see what this one is. Bring in the play for me, Villas. 
Rachel. A chop block. Well, still waiting for the official. It's an illegal block below the knee, so let's see what the... Uh... I'll march that one off big time. It's going to be 15 big ones. That's a biggie there, yeah. Back to the 38-yard line. Meaville will have to run another extra player to get to the end zone. Here we go. Regroup. First down. Scoreboard says 20. 320 on the clock. First quarter. All Meadville. Pitch back. Getting some running room to the 30-yard line. Stopped right about there. Wheeler brings him down again. 60, the big guy for the Conneaut Eagles. Scott Wheeler, a junior. Second down in about 13. Seven-yard pickup on that run. Clock under three minutes. 26-0 Meadville. Hand off Rachel again. Has He's the got ball a off blocker. Andrew. Play goes 20. down. He'll be stopped still on his feet. He's going to go to the end zone, but they'll call this back. Another. I'm going to say another chop block and a bull. I see what the call is. Might Maybe even holding. And there it is. Meadville, their own worst enemy right now, at least in this series. But they have the big lead. They've got a huge lead here in the first quarter. 2.35 on the clock. That's going to cost them 10. Brighton Anderson with the run, but all for naught. Meadville, they've got four penalties for 40 yards. Mark it off from the far hash mark. Another 10. Ball out to the 40. Third and a ton. You get that right. More running room, far side of the field. Who's that running the ball? I can't see. The, the jerseys are terrible. The numbers. That's Lawrence, number three. Okay. Jordan Lawrence. All right. Picks up about five. Third and 18. I believe it was 12 that brought him down for cash. Here we go. Third down and 18. See if they take it to the air. Less than two minutes. Back to pass. Rolling out. Looks. Throws. Dumps it wide, wide open. open. 10, 5. Easy touchdown. Oh, my. I don't see any flags down. Just like that. Brayden Miller with a touchdown. Third. And the... <laughs> that thing will be blown on that long, Chuck. 194 yards in the first period for Meadville. We still got a minute 44. I don't know where the secondary's at for cash, but uh, nobody home on that one. They got behind the defenders. Forget about it. Touchdown, 40 yards. Referee bringing the ball in. A minute 44 on the clock. As we get ready for the point after they will attempt the kick again. Once the smoke clears. Giovanni, PAT goal, boost to the left. Ball set down and the kick is up. That is no good off to the left. So we have another timeout in the first quarter. 144 to go. 32 to nothing dogs. We'll be right back on Cool and Cool TV and Armstrong after this timeout. 
Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. And Meadville will kick off again in the first quarter with a 32 to nothing lead. And the ball is grabbed at the 20, 25. Trying to get to the 30, but Russell down, slammed to the turf. First and 10, Connie. Meadville is just dominating everything. Offense, defense, special teams here taking care of the trenches that's for sure yeah yeah, they, yeah oh yeah they're on the line they're in the backfield their secondary is doing a great job Connie, i mean besides a few only, penalties and a few missed points after now it's at the 25 yard line of Connie on just about a perfect game here 32 nothing <laughs> first quarter wow can't keep their hands on the football they had a pick couple fumbles They, All can't, they can't keep Meadville out. That's the thing. Easler. Right up the gut. No Grover, blocking. And he has no place to go. There's no blocking. You got to create a hole. You got to. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. Well, the offensive line looks like 54. That's 76. Fifty-four, your right tackle, uh, seventy-six, right guard, left guard. Meadville, one hundred ninety-four yards in the first quarter. Cash minus six, and they face the second down and ten at their own twenty-five yard line. Easler quarterbacking, hands that ball once again. Rover and he's straight up the gut, but no place to go again. He may have got a tough yard. That's all as he dived forward. 51, 78, and 66 is 66 is the center. So that they just may let the clock wind out here. Well, the first quarter's only gone 37 minutes. Yeah. And Meville scored 32 points. They counted down here. They'll stay in the huddle, and that's going to be it. The end of the first quarter from Benderfield in Meadville. The cash mash bash, and it's been all Meadville mashing Conneaut the end of the first 12 minutes. It is Meadville 32, Conneaut nothing. We'll take this time out, and we're right back on Cool, Cool TV and Armstrong. Some companies will tell you they have the best customer service. No, I'm sorry. That's not a part of our policy. We can't really help you there. Some companies will tell you they have the best technical support. Yeah, let me just put you on with somebody from technical hours, support right now. Please hold. Yeah, don't, don't, I don't need tech support. Your tech support. Technical support? How can I help you? Some companies will tell you that your call is very important. <sighs> Only Armstrong provides you with the customer service you deserve. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. 
Welcome back as we start the second quarter of action here on Cool 101.7 FM. Along with Cool TV, we welcome you. Meadville High School. Third Mead. down and nine for Conniant. Meadville the Bulldogs well in control here. Out to Conniant, 26-yard line. Ben Easler. Not as easy as it was last week against Warren, at least in the first quarter. See what happens here now in quarter number two. Just underway. Easler to go to hand it off at Whistles. Kanye gets their first penalty. Illegal motion against Conniant. Five more. Third and 14. Ball at the 21 of Conniot. Regroup, try it again. Once again, Meadville in the first quarter, 194 yards and 32 points. These are in the shotgun. High snap, pulls it down, hands the ball off. Over trying to get to the outside 20 and ridden out of bounds. Maybe just short of the 20-yard line. I think he probably lost another yard. Well, he gets the hand up, but I tell you what, you two know, of the dogs are in the backfield already. Ball is back to the 19-yard line. He lost two. And it'll be a punt situation. And Meadville, once again, should get good field position. Over to punt. Good snap. Gets it out of there. Nice one. Good Comes snap. Comes down it. Good Just kick. short of midfield. To the, kicks out of bounds around the 47-yard line of Conneaut. Nice kick. But Meadville takes over with a 32 to nothing lead. 11.41 on the clock. Second quarter. Once Better again tonight. in cash territory. And homecoming night here. Big crowd packed here. At the complex, here we go. Well, they haven't been stopped tonight. Every time they've had the football, they've scored. Yep. That they have. Plus a pickoff for a pick six. Two, pick, two uh, interceptions and one fumble. Here we go. Put that ball right in the gut, I think, of Lawrence. Turning it up the field, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Forget about it. Another touchdown, dogs. Wow. No flags down. I don't see any. 38. Nothing. Lawrence with the touchdown. 53-yard touchdown. 11:28 as we start off the second quarter here from Meadville. We will attempt the kick again. Gold post this time to the right. Set down the ball is down. The kick is up. Got that one. That one is good. All of a sudden it's 39 to nothing. Just starting the second quarter. We'll be back in a moment on Cool, Cool TV and Armstrong. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area.
Meadville kicks it away to Conneaut. 39 to nothing, dog lead. Ball picked up to 20, 25, out to about the 27-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for Conneaut. See if they can get a drive going. Pretty straight. On the return, ball placed at 27 as Chuck said, first and 10, Conneaut. Got to get something, Chuck, whether it's the short passes, you know, maybe three, four yards down and out, I mean, and you don't have time to throw long. And well, get, they don't have much time back in the pocket for it. Yeah, but I mean, it's it nailed. They've had two interceptions. He was always throwing long. You don't have time. The coverage is way too much. Meadville, a quick team to begin with. Then Hazler in the pistol. Rolls right, looks. Way Good incomplete. Way overthrown. Looks like Grover was the intended receiver down there in the right flat. Falls incomplete. Second and 10 on their own, 27. Clock stops at 11 16. Once again, we are in the second quarter. Chuck Stop, Big Gear, Joe Valky, and a beautiful night for football, especially if you're a Meadville fan. All right, here we go. Second down and 10 for Conneaut. Moving from right to left. He's there, Groover behind him. Going to hand it off. Counter, no place to go. Might have got a yard. Two if the reps are generous. All right, tackle. They'll spot the ball at the 27-yard line. To give it That's the about the line of scrimmage, big guy. Yeah. Wow, no gain. Third and ten. Looks like he might have. Incompleted pass. Rush that went nowhere. And quickly, it's third down. This is only their second third down play because of fumbles, interceptions. See if they can make a third down, but 10 yards to go. They haven't even made a first down yet. Absolutely. Flags go down. We have a Delay timeout. A no, nope, timeout. Conneaut. All right, Big Air, let's just hold it here this time. And boy, talk about domination by Meadville. Uh, totally throttling Conneaut here. And Connie had coming in with high expectations after going two and two on the season and a win over Warren last week. Well, they got a couple wins under their belt, you know, and I don't blame them. They got a little momentum, you know, you get a little uh, pride behind yourself and that. And but I mean, you're going up against the wall. I mean, the score shows it right now. Meadville, they're at the top of their game. They have a great team this year. Even uh, even though they lost one, but. Uh, they're a phenomenal team. Offense, defense, can't say enough about them. Special teams. Well, the dog's going to get a test next week. They have to travel to Oil City, take on the Oilers. They are really rolling this year with that big key player that they have on their ball club. So we'll see how they do next week. But first of all, we got to get through this week. All right, let's see what the coach has up his sleeve. Third down and 10. Easler. In the shotgun, back looking, throws the ball right flat. It's caught, and no place no to block. go. No block. You didn't have a blocker out there. Wow. You, had, you got to set that up to have a blocker. Nothing is there. It was they'll a good lose. call, though. I mean, it was a quick pass. Well, they'll lose a couple more yards. Ball back to the 25-yard line. But so that, then again, Meadville had great coverage. So he's looking minus at that two way. on that series. So they're a minus eight in the game. Oh, they're taking our gun away, I think. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. That was... <laughs> <laughs> well, they were waking up the neighborhood, Big Gear. I'm sure they were. All right, Connie had forced the punt. Fourth and 12. Meadville should get good field position so they again. they lost two on the pass. Snap. Got it. 
They don't hold it. Now what? Flag down on the far side. Somebody jump off sides? Nope. Well, if it was me, Bill Connie still going to have to punt. They're going to mark it off against the dogs. Five yards up to the 30-yard line. Oh, okay. So they did jump off. Offsides. Couple more of those, you got a first down. Yeah. All right. Fourth and seven. Snap. Oh. Uh, over his head, oh, rolls a wow. ten. Inside the five, maybe to the four-yard line, and the dog is going to have the ball at the cash. Four-yard line, is it? Yep. Looks like. Yeah, first down and goal. Uh, well, once again, inside the red zone, brought to you by McCandless Ford. Locations in Meadville and Mercer. Wow. Ball way over his head. He managed to fall on it, but the ball is placed at the five-yard line. First and goal for Meadville. This is just a matter of a play or two before they're in. Pitch back. Quarter to the end zone, and officials said no. He did not make it. Second down coming up. Got down to about what, the two-yard line maybe? It is the two-yard line. All right, thank you. Second and goal. Says one, but no. Well, yeah. official Looks like across the, the way. Well, at least the second down markers at the two. Yeah. Second and goal for Meadville. Trying to get in there was Miller. Did he make it? He got it that Touchdown. time. Touchdown. No, Anderson, I said, had the touchdown. And that it goes to 45 to nothing with the PAT to come. Cold boost to the right. Kick is up, whoa, way off the left. I think that might have been blocked way off to the left. It went over into the student section. That it is, so let's pause for 30. The dogs well in control this. 8.38 to go in the first half, and it's 45 to zip. More in a moment. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. Welcome right back to MASH, Bender Field. Tonight, the dogs and Cash, Meadville, blowing them out here in the first half as they kick off once again from left to right. Kickoff's away, a nice one. Grabbed at about the 21, across the 25, 30, 32, maybe 33-yard line. Finally, the dogs finally get him down there. On the return once again for Cash. That was what Luke. Luke Luke with a good job on a second effort. 
Got past the defender, got into two, and gave him a little tug. Managed to get up to 35. They finally brought him down, so decent return by Wyatt Luke. What is he? Just a freshman. It's a young team here. Yeah, I think Coach Taking their only bumps one and bruises on tonight. Showing blitz, the dogs, and they back off. Come back. Man in motion. Nice pitch Put, back. 35, 40. Look at that. Go. Oh, for, no, close to first Man. down yardage. I thought he was going to go. He had one guy to get around. Did he manage to get a first down, though? Right on the first down marker, it looks like. Hey. Gets on the run that time for Con Hit. Their biggest offensive play of the night by far. Nice pitch back. Perfect, man. It was right to him. He cut around. He had one guy to get by, and that guy brought him down. But he, they did get their first first down. Showed a little spark there. And that gives him a plus two on rushing tonight. All right. They're going to grow from there. It's all downhill. In the pistol. Azar puts that ball right straight into the gut and right straight up the middle. Might have got another four, possibly five. For Connie at that time on the carry. Number 88. And that is uh, Mitchell Blood, a junior six foot. Any relation? That I do not know. Ball placed at the 49-yard line. Four-yard pickup, second and six. We got 725 remaining here in the first half. Ball at the 49-yard line of Conant. Conant Eagles moving right to left. Long count, snap, and the ball off. Once again to Blood. Blood gets some running room again, brought him in the backfield. A couple good plays in a row now. He'll have the ball into Mash territory. First time they've been there tonight at the Meadville 48 yard line. Third down and three. Well, he's picked up seven yards his last uh, two plays, young yeah, Blood. Absolutely. Not quite. 6.30 remaining in the first half. And Meadville leading it 45 to nothing. One thing is for sure, there will be a running clock in the second half. Ben checking the defense out. Sends a man in motion. Right straight up the gut to blood again. This time, not so much luck. I nah, went to the well one too many times. Stopped right about at the line of scrimmage. There will be no gain. It will be fourth down. So on that drive, Getz gets 10. Blood gets 7. Fourth down for the Eagles. Great job again by the Meadville Bulldogs defense. Five thirty-five. Need to go with the. Are they going to go for it? Yep. Now what? What yeah, are you going to lose? You down big. Lose, you're down. Yeah, you're right. Got to pick up three yards. They can do it. He's alert. Oh, uh, everything that may cost them five. Might have had a little motion here. Illegal procedure. Five against Connie. That may change his strategy now. Penny will take him back to the to the Meadville. 40. Well, they marked it clear down to the 42-yard line. Should have been that minute. long. Should have gone only five yards. Yeah, I don't know where that guy's going. Had no idea. 46-yard line. That's more like it. Yeah. Oh, everything. More whistles. Should be fourth down and eight. It's not what it looks like. Well, five and three is eight. Yeah, 
and now they will punt their first punt of the night. Nice to it's bounced That's around right. like a pinball. Yep. Where's it end up it going? It went out? out of bounds. Oh my goodness. Right about the line of scrimmage. It went off. It? He kicked it and it hit somebody. Needville's going to take over at around the 45-yard line of Conneaut. Wow, that was bizarre. It's a full moon tonight. So Meadville gets the ball at the, I'm going to say, close It'll to 45. Marking it down. Should be about to 45, and it will be. Another great field position for the dogs. Wow. Who are in control already. 45 to nothing. Just under five minutes remaining here in this game as they come to the line of scrimmage. 247 yards tonight of offense for the dogs. First and 10. Man in motion. Hand the ball off to Lawrence, breaking tackles. First down again, 30, flag goes down, 20, 15, 10, 5. Goes to the end zone, but hold everything. Flag down at the 28. It's about the only thing dogs have done wrong tonight's penalties. How many do they have tonight, Big Air? Well, so far they got five. Yeah. But they actually had six. Holding. Dogs. Dogs. So now they've got six penalties. You can't have those against a good team like you said, Chuck. You play in the Oilers. Yeah. They'll take advantage of that. Yeah, next week you'll be in trouble. Yep. Ball will go clear back down. To the 45-yard line, 10-yard penalty from the 45 of Cash to the 45 of Meadville. This is WMVL, Linesville, Meadville. Friday night high school football, Meadville and Conneaut. Trips come to the near side of the field. Looking, throwing pass. right, flat, and overthrows his intended receiver. Need to get that ball down about another couple feet. That would have been a completed pass. A little high. He couldn't bring it in. He had his hand on it. Yep. Tended receiver that time for the dogs was Anderson. Second and 20 on their own 45. Moving left to right. Camouflage jerseys for the dogs. Black pants. Connie in the blue pants and the white jerseys. The blue numerals. Inside handoff again up the middle. A little yardage there, but not a lot. Once again, that is Lawrence. Jordan Lawrence, just a sophomore, 5'9, 150, fullback. Third and long for Meadville. Third and about 18. Keeper this time by the quarterback out of the shotgun. Midfield, 45, 40, 35. First down, still on his feet. Clear down to the 30-yard line. Boy, nice tackle. Fine, I tell you what. He saved that one from busting it. According to the website, they play next Saturday, 7 o'clock, here at home against Oil City. Okay. That's all that counts, just so we know where the location's at. Next Saturday. Maybe we can get a doubleheader. All right. Inside handoff this time and wrapped up and brought down. No place to go that time for Lawrence. They lost on that one. About three, maybe. About three and a half, actually. Scoreboard says second and 14, 245. On the clock, it is 45 to nothing. Meadville with the lead and the ball. 
The week after that, they take on McDowell. That could be tougher. Yeah. The mighty Trojans. Oh, they're always tough. Back to pass. Throws it. Left it's side. Interception. Connie on. 40. 50. Mesh 45 down to the 40-yard line. A little spark here for the Conneaut Eagles. I think it was Grover on the PI interception. Number 60. Stepped in there and snagged that one. Okay. Wasn't it? Okay for well, maybe. Conneaut. Number That's Wheeler. 60 would be Wheeler Scott. Yeah, Scott Wheeler. Saw the 1-6 on there. Well, that could help. Another first down for Conneaut. Out to Mesh, 42. On the pick. First and 10. Throw it out in the flat. Collision over here and falls incomplete. That time it was Grover. Well, at least they're trying to go for a quick pass. 2.14, clock stop with the incompleted pass. Score is 45-0, Bulldogs. Second and 10 at the Mesh 42-yard line. Connie, it's deepest penetration of the night. Quarterback keeper. Not much are there for the quarterback, Easler. Got up to 39. 40 if the referees are feeling 41 gracious. No. 41 yard line. Oh, sorry. So he got one. Big pile of players. Third and goes nine. Backwards. Blood behind the quarterback in the shotgun. Quarterback keeper, and he gets buried. Well, he turned around to hand it off. There was nobody there. Clear back to the 46-yard line of Meadville. Wow. So from... 42 to the 41, back to the 46, five-yard loss. Yeah, you had third and nine. Now you got... Fourth and what? Fourth and about 14. Yeah, 14. So they'll bring in the punting unit. Clock continues to run here. Less than a minute left in this half. O or will they? Yes. They will punt. Groover to punt. Right to left. Back for me was Thompson. Timeout, Conneaut. Okay, we want to remind you that tonight's broadcast is also being brought to you by a restaurant that is just open, Three Deuces Saloon, located at 15713 U.S. Highway, 6 and 19, just north of Meadville. That's formerly Willie G's location. Great food and drinks, including flatbread pizza, along with the yummy appetizers like fried green tomatoes, crispy pork belly, and more. All going on at Triple Deuces Saloon. Also, they have jumbo wings. Mm, sounds good oh, down the big man, there. That sounds good right now. I love the name. Yes, I do I too. love that name, Triple Deuce Saloon. That is that it. Is Once cool. again, they just opened 15713 U.S. Highway 6 and 19 north of Meadville. Thank them for being a sponsor tonight of Meadville Cash Football. Not just wings. Those are jumbo wings. All right. We'll try the punt again. Snap. Kick. Right out of there. Decent That's going to be short. And down inside the yeah. 25 to the 20. It's going to go out of bounds. At the 15-yard line, 
first and 10 mash with only 22 seconds to go and getting control of this one, 45 nothing. Maybe they'll just take a knee and let the clock run out. Broadcast tonight being brought to you by the Valley Inn, Walker Brothers Chevrolet, Trouble Deuce Saloon, Lakeside Beauty Salon, Armstrong, Flex TV and Appliance, Westbury, and by the Area Shopper. High school football on week number five. Halfway through the high school football season. Boy, hard to believe. Thank you for joining us on Cool Cool TV and Armstrong tonight. Hand that ball off, sweep me around the right side, breaking some tackles, another tackle, maybe off to the races again, up to midfield, and brought down. Wow. Number 23, dogs on the return. Of course, that's Braden Miller. And some good nights already for the dogs. Then he limped off. That's not a good sign. So hopefully he's all right. Well, we can't afford to lose him. No. Oh, what a run. Of course, tonight, things well in control. Let him just let him set him. Flag. Flags go down. Oh, here we go again. We'll have illegal procedure. Clock ran out. So that's going to be the end of the first half. It has been all Meadville. Bulldog football tonight in the cash mash here at Bender Field. Halftime score, it is Meadville 45, Conneaut nothing. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll be back. Stats and more. Hopefully we get some scores right after this timeout on Cool 101.7, Cool TV, and Armstrong. Transform your business internet with Armstrong Business Solutions. Our advanced 10G fiber optic network gives you the ability to experience lightning fast upload and download speeds with unlimited data. But that's not all. Wireless internet backup combats network disruptions and Business Pro Wi-Fi helps monitor and manage your network from anywhere. Get your business up to speed with connectivity that works for you from Armstrong Business Solutions. Go to armstrongonewire.com business. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. When we say don't trust your internet to just anyone, we mean it. At Armstrong, our network is monitored 24-7 by multiple highly trained engineers, not just a single person. What else? If you ever have a problem, all service visits are free. That's right, we come to your home to fix things, unlike those other guys. Armstrong, unmatched employees, unmatched technology, unmatched fiber network put on a show most of it in the first quarter they ran out to a 32 to nothing lead over Conneaut and now at the half 45 to nothing in favor of your Meadville Bulldogs so. not much in stats Chuck I can shoot some real quick here Meadville Bulldogs I had them 3 for 5 in passing they did have one turnover had 4 first downs 
They had six penalties for 65 yards. Connie had two penalties for 10 yards, three turnovers. They had one first down, and I had them one for six in passing. It went like this. The first quarter was 6 nothing. At 10 34, 13 nothing at nine minutes, 26 to nothing, 331. With a minute 44, they scored again, 32 to nothing. Into the second quarter, was they scored again, point after was good, 39 to nothing. And then all of a sudden at 838, they scored again and making it 45 to nothing where we stand right now. Wow. Yeah. Unofficially, Meadville, 272 yards. Conneaut with a Plus two yards. But in that first quarter, boy, talk about, you know, Meadville doing well, but it was turnover after turnover by the Conneaut Eagles as the... Uh, you know, Chuck, I don't know if Conneaut come out thinking maybe they could catch him off guard, throw long, because they were throwing long passes. And there's where the two interceptions came. They just snagged him, got in front of him, and... Ran one, and like it was nothing. They did have the one fumble. Uh, three costly turnovers for the Eagles. Started off with a touchdown, 69-yard run by Miller. Then an interception for a touchdown, and he was 13 to nothing. Then Thompson, another touchdown for 38 yards. Then May scored again on a touchdown from 47 yards. Still yet another touchdown by Mash as they started at the Connie 27-yard line, was penalized back to the 38-yard line. He ended up throwing a pass for 40 yards for the touchdown. And then finally, 50-yard touchdown run by Anderson capped off the scoring for the Meadville Bulldogs. Well, they tried to run the ball in the first series, and that guy shut down. So they went to the air, but they went long. I don't know if you were trying to regain some ground or trying to catch them off guard. And I mean, Meadville is not the team you can do that to. And I'm taking nothing away from Kanye. You got to shake it up, and maybe that's what they did. And unfortunately, Meadville they just outrun them. They're quicker. They're you know they got more experience. Chuck, young team on Kanye, and, and they're being manhandled on the line all over the place. So. I guess you got to try something, so they did. So Yeah, well, the teams they've lost to has been tough teams, Connie, at losing to Fort LaBeouf and Harbor Creek. Got shut out in both of those games. Yeah. What was the score, you know, by chance? I certainly do, Big Gary. I wondered how. It wasn't pretty. No, I'm sure it wasn't. Those are tough teams, absolutely tough teams. And Connie, being a young team, you're going to take your, your bumps, so to speak, and they, they are. They call it building character, they used to tell it. Builds character. <laughs> well, Fort LaBeouf, 29 to nothing. Harbor Creek, 42 to nothing. Now we're at 45 to nothing. And at halftime, of course, in third quarter, clock will be running on the Mercy Roll, Gary. Well, hopefully they can get something going, try to prevent a, a shutout. I mean, easier said than done. They're, I mean, it's just a tough Meadville team. I, and I can't emphasize that enough. Coach Ray's done a phenomenal job, and he's got the talent down there. He's just a, just a great team. It really, I mean, really is. And we've seen it in the past, Chuck. That but, we have. But like you said, Chuck, they're going to get their test, Oil City and McDowell, the next two weeks. So it's not going to be like this. <laughs> this is a junior and a sophomore laden team for Conneaut. So the yeah. experience they get this year definitely going to help this ball club out. Yeah. In the uh, next year, and in yep. the, you're right. You're absolutely right. 25 Chuck. campaign builds character. That's what we were always told. We take the licks, and and we did. Next week for Conneaut on the schedule, Northwestern, Titusville, I should say, and then Northwestern followed by Oil City. Oh, they got to play Oil City too. Oh yes, in the same conference. But that game is next Saturday here in Meadville. It's 7 o'clock, Meadville and Oil City. Let's get out on the field and listen to some great music.
Yeah, this is the Meadville High School marching band. Moves off of the field here at Bender Field. Halftime score between Cash and Mash. Well, it's all Meadville at the half, 45 to nothing. As the clock runs down, we'll be back. We'll have more on the halftime show. Chuck Stomp, Gary Patton, and Joe Vilke right after this timeout. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. For heating, cooling, or plumbing repair and installation, count on Armstrong Comfort. Visit armstrongcomfort.com or call 814-250-0101. Ask about our Peace of Mind Club and save on maintenance and emergency repairs. Some companies will tell you they have the best customer service. No, I'm sorry. That's not a part of our policy. We can't really help you there. Some companies will tell you they have the best technical support. Yeah, let me just put you yeah, on to somebody from technical hours, support right now. Message. Please hold. Yeah, don't, don't I don't need tech support. Your tech support. Technical support, how can I help you? Some companies will tell you that your call is very important. <sighs> Only Armstrong provides you with the customer service you deserve. Transform your business internet with Armstrong Business Solutions. Our advanced 10G fiber optic network gives you the ability to experience lightning fast upload and download speeds with unlimited data. But that's not all. Wireless internet backup combats network disruptions and Business Pro Wi-Fi helps monitor and manage your network from anywhere. Get your business up to speed with connectivity that works for you from Armstrong Business Solutions. Go to armstrongonewire.com business. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through Breaking Bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. Night for high school football. Meadville Bulldogs on homecoming night, veterans night, dominating this contest 45 to nothing. We'll have a running clock. The mercy rule goes into effect starting the third quarter. We do have some scores to report on. These here are close to or at the half. Mercer over Conkerton, 13 to nothing. Mercy Hearst Prep, 34. Franklin, nothing. Cambridge brings 27. Iroquois, 6. Oil City throttling Northwestern, 42 to 7. Sharpsville, 34. Greenville, 13. That is at the half. And Titusville has a 14 to nothing lead. And I have the Titusville. I didn't know who they were playing, though. So we will get that Seneca. Thank you very much. Daryl Ray back at the station getting those scores for us. I appreciate that very much. Your halftime score. Chuck Stomp, Gary Patton, and Joe Vilke here at Meadville tonight. Broadcast on Cool 101.7, Cool TV. And also, it is on Armstrong Cable Services tonight, Gary. Always a pleasure, Armstrong. Our good friends from Armstrong. Well, as Chuck said, halftime just about winding down. Performance there by the Meadville Band doing a great job. Running clock as we start the second half of action. 45 nothing. your score. And we had the announcement of the uh, homecoming pageant here tonight. King and Queen, we'll see if we can get that for you and pass it along to you. Nobody's brought it into the press box yet, Gary. No, not yet, but, uh, boy, I tell you what, the place is packed. Even the Conneaut crowd over there, it's a good crowd, good turnout over there and support. Nobody leaving, and that's a good thing. Come here and support the players. That's what it's all about, you know. Just, Absolutely. Just, it, sometimes it gets a bad rap, but it shouldn't because it's just a, it's a good game and a lot of camaraderie. So, nevertheless, where are we at next Friday night? We have an idea, Next maybe. Next week's still up in the air yet, Gary. Yeah, okay. We'll let the folks know. Hopefully, I'd like to come do the Oil City game by next Saturday. I'll just throw that out there. That, 
Oil well, City Let's, Queen here at Meadville. That will be before. about. Okay. All right, we have something we do want to tell you about. It's going uh, on tomorrow night. Okay, then. It is going to be the Maplewood's annual marching band festival. It'll take place at Maplewood High School tomorrow night. It'll be at 6.50 for the opening ceremonies, and it'll begin the competition at 7 o'clock. Now, listen to this lineup of bands. Cambridge Springs, Titusville, Warren, Conneaut, Meadville, Fort LaBeouf, and the host team, of course, it is Maplewood. Now, tickets are $6 for adults, $5 for senior citizens, $4 for students, 12 and under. Guess what, Big Hair? You get in free. Oh, wow. Now, you can't beat that. No, not at all. So, hope you have a chance to get over there and take advantage of that. Maplewood's annual marching band festival. It is the September showcase. Once again, opening ceremony, 6.50. And the first performance goes off at 7 o'clock. So if you enjoy bands, hey, make your way over to Maplewood tomorrow night. We were over there last night at the Woodshed Big Gear. Huge volleyball match. All about Dig for a Cure Breast Cancer. Of course, it is next month, but they had the game this month. So it really makes no difference. Certainly, they made some money all 50-50. Went to that. The admission went to that. The Orlando G. Barco Oncology Institute right here in Meadville is where all the money derived will go to. A fantastic cause. I mean, after, you know, I mean, last uh, October, November, when my wife was diagnosed with cancer, and we were, like, shocked when we found out, and we went through the whole thing, and, and it, luckily they were able to catch it and treat her. She got to ring the bell up in Cleveland at the hospital. Amen. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's such a great cause it really touches home and i know on a lot of people so year round you got fundraisers to try to fight that ugly disease There's well no there doubt was about a it. huge crowd over there last night on the packed house almost one of the biggest crowds i've ever seen over there that is awesome at Maplewood. that's awesome and I, I i heard you on the radio i mean i live back in ohio as everybody knows but i was you and logan were doing it yes and uh i got to pick up some of that coverage and listen to that before I was heading to the YMCA, and, and uh, that's it's just a great cause. I mean, a lot of fun. That's and, what it's all about. The game was Logan, really secondary. Yeah, but. you you and Logan love doing volleyball, and you guys are good at it. And and I I enjoy listening to the games. I don't cover them, but I enjoy listening to them and watching them. And a lot of action. And once again, for a great cause. I mean, absolutely. And the place is packed, as you said. That's even better. That's been the fifteenth year, and they think somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars. They've derived from that dig for a cure, and that shows that we thank all the people showing up for that, whether they got into the 50-50, whether they bought at the concession stand, yeah. or the admission. We or thank everybody for Chinese that. auction, food, drinks, whatever you, they, right. you know, they make a dollar or any uh, amount of money made that goes to that. It's just a great cause. It's uh, unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I knew nothing about it until I experienced it the last <laughs> year. I remember going to Cleveland in December. I'll touch on it real quick. That I went up there and I sat in a room with my wife, and women were coming in and out constantly. And I'm like, all these ladies have cancer. And they're like, well, yeah. And it was just mind-boggling. Absolutely. Well, Maplewood did come away with it. They won the first two sets. Mick Cockerton won the second two sets. He went to the fifth and final set. Maplewood wins it. 15 to 12, and that place was rocking and rolling all night last night. But once again, the whole reason for the event, fight against breast cancer. We're just about ready for the second half here on Cool 101.7, Cool TV. We thank the folks joining us and viewing it tonight on Armstrong. Always. Once again, the halftime score here, 45 to nothing, Meadville. Mercy clock runs beginning the third quarter. Always great to team up with Armstrong Cable. Always. Absolutely. We've had some great camaraderie with them guys. Absolutely over the years. Oh, yes, we have. Great times. Both teams on the field. You can hear the crowd getting fired back up. Like I said, it is a great turnout. I mean, it is... Well, it should be. This is a huge rivalry, yeah, Gary. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, everybody hanging around. It's, it's, it's three years ago you wouldn't have seen this. Yeah. 
I guess not. <laughs> Maybe they had some faces in the stand, cardboard oh. faces. You and I would come in. We had to get our temperature taken. We had to be on a list. Oh. In order to be allowed into a stadium, we had to be, you know, like certified or something. Mask, bonded. too. Remember yeah, the mask masked. days? And, uh, yeah, it was quite the ordeal. Quite a nightmare, I should say. It was a nightmare, all right. <laughs> Tonight's broadcast being brought to you in part by Zombie Fight Night. The Canalist Ford locations in Meadville and Mercer, they present the Red Zone. Howard Hanna, Bainbridge Kaufman Real Estate. Ralston's Hardware, Meadville Overhead Doors, the Lakeside Beauty Salon. Hi, Artie. It is the Triple Deuce Saloon just opened up. Tell you more about that in the second half. Walker Brothers Chevrolet, the Valley Inn, Armstrong, Westbury United Methodist Retirement Community, the area shopper, Flex TV and Appliance. Meat All right. Bill, teeing it up. As the two teams get around their respective coaches, Connie had already out on the field. And we're ready for the second half to unfold here on Cole. It'll be a rather fast second half because we'll have a running clock. Only time is for a timeout or injury. Other than that, incompleted pass, penalties, the clock continues to run. All right. The dogs will get ready to kick it away to Cash. From left to right. Meadville, 45. Connie on nothing. Third quarter underway. Down at about the 22. Picked up across the 20s. He had to go back, get over the 30. Still fighting his way. Finally, though, is being brought down. And on that bottle of the pile for Cash was Wyatt Luke. And we're underway. Ball placed at the 31-yard line. First and 10 for Cash on a running clock. Let's see if they can make it to that end zone. Then Eastler courting backing. Snap, and that ball off. Rip down. Grover, no place to go. They'll spot the ball at about the 32. Gain about one. So we're underway in the second half. Benderfield in Meadville. Cooling down a little bit now, but still a beautiful night. We'll get a lot chillier as we head towards November, big year. Playoff time. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> I think we That's inevitable. We still had one year. I remember every Friday night it was in the 60s. I'll never forget that year. That was great. Here we go. Easler. Fake hand off, then pitches the ball back. And in trouble, bobbling the ball, being taken down about six yards back. No blocking. Nobody out there to pick him up. No sooner did he throw the ball back, you got a dog right there to bring him down. Ball back to the 26-yard line. Loss of six. Anderson in on the tackle for Meadville. So crucial to throw a block. Pull the guard. I'm not sure what strategy Third and about was. 15. <laughs> Scoreboard says third and nine. That's more than nine. Picked up one on the initial play and then that's, lost five yeah, on the next one. So. Yeah, you're right. It is about 16. Hoover in the backfield behind the quarterback. Fake pitch and now in trouble in the backfield. He just threw the ball up in the air. How nope. much we're going to get intentional grounding? Was there anybody out there? Yeah, there was a receiver okay. there. I mean, the back was rolling out, and he was about ready to get drilled by two of the dogs, so he threw a pass. Boy, now the ball is clear back to the 19-yard line. Lost another seven. Now, 
The ball should be back. It was an incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. It should go back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Okay. I thought the uh, official was standing down there. I see a 19-yard line. Wow. Boy, they can't have a bad snap here. Yeah. Well, he had great field position all, all night long. And scored six touchdowns. So. Yeah. Oh, almost a high one. Got it out of there. Come down over midfield. Taking it to 40. Five, 50. Connie at 40. Still going. Cuts back to the inside. 30. 25. 20 yard line. Finally brought down. Was that 51 and 12 with the assist? Great return. And he'll set up shop at. Daigle Drew. Sophomore, 51. He saved that one. Good job by Drew. Now we got it. Now the ball's being brought out to the 35, 36, 37. They're still walking. I didn't see it. Obviously a flag. Probably a clip on the return. Maybe a big hair. Yeah, that are hold. holding. I... Well, they're marking it off from the 40-yard line. Looked like he was going to be in good field position, but... Well, they picked up the flag. No wonder. Five. Oh, that's a biggie here. Ten. Ten yards. Ten, all it's right. Out to midfield. But. So, Meadville, with the 45 done nothing lead. And that ball off to, they were trying to get to the outside. Flag, Flag down. down. Probably had a hold. Of holding. Wow, another 10. Yeah, we said it earlier, Chuck, and you mentioned a couple times that the only downfall for Meadville has been the penalties. Yes. They're ready to get the ball back. They haven't even marked off the 10 yards yet. Those now back to the Meadville 40. Well, they're going in reverse here. They haven't got the yard markers moved yet. What are they doing? Well, they got to get all the way up there, but... Yeah. Well, they find, yeah, it was way yeah. back there. It was yeah, the first was. down marker. They got a long Hand way to up. go. Boy, they're all over, over him this yeah. time. They nailed wow. him. Wow. Good penetration by Conneaut. Yep. The f Lost another five, maybe, four or five. I'm going to bring it back to the 40-yard line. Well, they brought it back to the line of scrimmage, big here, 40-yard line. Well, it looked like they tackled him in the back. I thought so. I'm not Second sure and why. 20. Man in motion. Got it. Cuts to the inside midfield. Here he Two, goes to the far three. side of the field. He's to the 40, 30. Riley brought down inside the 35-yard line. Three missed tackles. Miller on the carry. Gets another first down for the dogs. And the ball at the Conneaut, 35. 25 yard scamper Hand that time off. by Williams. Another first he down. Again. He's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. Got a penalty down. Got a flag down again. Oh, brother. I'm telling you. It's against Meadville.
So they'll march it off again and call back that touchdown. A couple touchdowns have been called back tonight by the Dogs. But they still lead it, 45 zip. And they'll mark it off. 30 yard line. So that was marked off from the infraction. First and five. Nice running room again over the right side down to the 20 yard line. By about a yard. Miller again oh, on the scamper. Me. Yeah, there you go. Ball placed at the 21. Finally, the dogs break the huddle. Up, a little counter trying to come back up against the green. Boy, I tell nice you about a good run. second and third effort. Yep. But three of the cash players to bring him down after about a what, five yards? Five yard six, gain. Five, six, yeah. Great job running the ball. Ball at the 16 yard line of cash. Even with all the penalties, Meadville still continues to move down the field. Well, they had about three penalties. 15 yes, yarder, a couple of 10 yarders. Pitch it back. Oh, nailed. Boy, they got him after getting inside the 15 yard line. Well, there's 51 again in on it. Great hustle. Miller carries Drew. again. Daigle, I tell you what, doing a great job. They got to be getting worn out. Third and about three. But still playing their heart and soul out, man. At the yeah. county at 14 yard line. Picked up a couple that time. They'll spread it out this time. Quarterback under center. Run the ball to the left side around the corner. 10-5 touchdown. No flags, though. Check the field. No flags. All right. Anderson with the TD. Tack on six more for the Meadville Bulldogs. What a drive. Started their 50. Went back to the 40. And all the penalties against Meadville in that drive, but... Still scored the touchdown. Now over 300 yards tonight. 333 total yards. Ball set down. The kick is up. Looks a little short. And it is. Timeout on the field. The Dogs getting control of this one. 51 to nothing. More on core right after this. 60 second pause. Armstrong Comfort is excited to announce that we're now serving Crawford and Erie Counties. As a proud member of the Armstrong Group, we carry on the tradition of exceptional customer service. Our honest, licensed, and experienced plumbers and HVAC technicians have been serving our customers for over 65 years. We'll save on maintenance and emergency repairs. Armstrong has a local food these most requested to find a list of community feeding programs at the 20 
Good return. It was. My first in the clock, third quarter, clock starts back up on a running clock. Luke, just a freshman, 6'2". See if we can get Connie to do something. Sure they like to get on the scoreboard before this one's over. Hand the ball off to Blood, Blood right tackle. Gets the ball up over the 45, 46 yard line, maybe the 46 and a half yard line. Picked up what, three? Spot the ball out about the 47, close to it anyway. All right. Getting three yards yeah, big there. Three tough ones there. Had some blocking when it looked like he went off the right guard, right tackle. Easler, pistol, man in motion. Fumble, but the quarterback, Ben, falls on it. Almost. Another turnover by Conion. Gain three, lose. Back to the 40-yard line. Wow. Third and 13. Lose seven. Yeah. From second and seven to third and, yeah. Well, it could have been turnover time. <laughs> yeah. And he not fallen on it. spotted at the 41 yard line third and 13 Cash trailing it 51 to nothing as they come to the line of scrimmage in the third quarter on a running clock once again back into the pistol for Ben Easler the quarterback behind him blood going back passing looking right going for the home run ball deep and it is knocked down incomplete Two defenders over there. Looked like number Got 26. Got a flag down. Hold on. 26 for Meadville was over there. Flag down at the 40-yard line. For Meadville, that would be Ryan Overton. Do we have some interference, maybe? I don't know. Oh, no, it's back here. It's way back wasn't here. wasn't even down to the receiver. So. No. Holding. They're going to mark it off against Connie. At least the official's looking that way. Did we get the hold? They're going to decline, decline it. Decline it. Holding. Why not? Fourth down, 13. Dogs want to get the ball back. So it should be first down. Oh, they got, okay. no, they got a punt. Okay, they got a punt, but I was looking at... All right. Fourth down, and they will punt it away. Thompson back deep for Meadville. This is homecoming night at Bender Field and also Veterans Night. Nice crowd in here. Good snap. Kick is out of there. Nice, nice kick. Nice come kick. Come down about the 26, 25, roll out of bounds, down around the 22, 23 large line. Another flag down. Uh -huh. They hold everything. Wow, now we're getting flags left and right. In a game like this, and the flags are flying. Yeah. Go figure. But you got to keep it. They're an inadvertent flag. They're going to stick it in their pocket. Oh, boy. No penalty. All right. Wow. That was a quick quarter down to 21 seconds, Big Gary. Yeah, well. Running clock. Hmm. Next one flies by. We'll be out of here in no time. At the end of this quarter, we will tell you about Triple Deuces Saloon. That's coming up at the end of this quarter. Right now, we have a timeout. We're going to Time hold it right Meadville. here. Timeout Yeah, we're going to hold here. Big gear. Timeout Meadville. Well, once again, the dogs, like they did last year, steamrolling Connie out last year, 62 to nothing. Right now, it is Meadville in control in the 
Third quarter, 21 seconds to go, leading it 51 to nothing. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot of the bench players for Meadville in there now, Gary, and maybe even for Connie Hunt. His decision about this game is over. Yeah, pretty much. And, and, and let your other players, like you said, Absolutely. Let, let come in and get some action. They'll be fired up. We've seen it with a JV or second string, however you want to phrase it, has come in and been excited and yep. it scored. And, and you see like a whole different game. So sometimes... Maybe not, not so much for Connie because of the uh, team with only like one senior on it. So. Well, they got quite a few players, though. That they do. I think one of their bigger squads. Okay. Meadville out there waiting for Connie. And here comes Cash. Should have time to run about one play once they get the clock going. 12 doing the quarterbacking now for Meadville, and we'll catch that after this play. Handoff. Now, coming around the near side, stutter stepping 20, trying to get away. Does get away to the 30 and out of bounds. Boy, what a great job by 22. What, did he break two tackles? And then it took two more to take him down. That runs out the clock, Chuck. Okay. All right. That was Timir Phillips on the run. Now 12 is quarterbacking for the dogs, A.J. Philippa. All right, we do want to remind you that our broadcast also being brought to you in part by Triple Deuce Saloon, 157 13 U.S. Highway 6 and 19, just north of Meadville. They just opened, formerly Willie G's location. Now listen to this, great food and drinks that includes flatbread pizza also some very delicious appetizers fried green tomatoes you ever tried those big hair no you got me on that oh one. they're good they oh, are very you got good me on that one crispy I love ketchup. pork belly what about pork belly you tried that before no no you haven't tried that i gotta and, go to this place and a lot more and what about this listen, listen to this jumbo wings big hair I'll take We that. like our wings, oh, don't we? We like our wings, especially jumbo. Oh, yeah. Jumbo. I got to go there. We got to go there. All right. You're making me hungry up here. Maybe the next time we take a trip to Sager Town or the Springs, we'll stop over there. Absolutely. Once again, that's Triple Deuce Saloon. Their location, 157 13 U.S. Highway, 6 and 19, just north of Meadville. They just opened up, huh? Yeah. Grand opening. They're almost light out there tonight, big guy. Oh, think awesome. a kitchen's open like till 10 o'clock. Get out there. Check it out. Trouble's do, News Saloon. Do they deliver here? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Okay, actually, All right. in the fourth quarter, ball is going to be run to the right side as Meadville gets another first down. So they get another 10 yards tacked on to that 333 yards, so they're going maybe for four tonight. We got, they lead as we start the fourth quarter. Well, running this, clock, 51 nothing. Second string, right? Quarterback it is. Yeah, Philippa doing the quarterbacking now, number 12. All right, somebody hand off. He's going to hand that ball off, trying to sweep to the near side of the field, breaking some tackles out to the 45-yard line. Good chunk of real estate. He's at 26 with the ball. All right, 26. That is... Ryan Everton. Flag down. Hold it. Oh, brother. Man, flag. We get another hold? I don't know. Oh, personal foul against Meadville. Ooh. Oh, that's 15 Ouch. there. That's I'll a I'll back him there. up to the 30-yard line. Something has to happen on the sidelines here, Gary. We didn't pick that up. Well, there was really no action. Something must have been said or... Cause I didn't see any... Penalty to the Meadville 30. Unless it was on the field. I'm, I... I'm thinking it might happen to her here on the side. Yeah, a little, little trash talk got out of hand. All right, back to action. Flip under center. Went to hand it off, and there we go. Flags again. Another flag. What souls anyway. What do we have this time? I don't know. 
They had six penalties in the first half. They've already got four. We just started the fourth quarter. So they stopped everything. Yeah, must have not been a penalty. Didn't do anything. Okay. Flip under center. Sons of man in motion. Motion man got it. Sweeping around the right end. Got running room. First Still down. on his feet across the wind, ridden out of bounds. Once again, number 22 on the run. Time here, Phillips. He's a sophomore, 6'150 pounds. This is WMVL, Lightonsville, Meadville. High school football on a beautiful Friday night. Bender Field in Meadville. If you're a dog fan, you're happy. Cash fan, not so. Yeah, but they're still hanging around over there. 51 to nothing, Meadville. And that's, a, that's a great thing. They didn't get up and leave. First and 10, Meadville. Tie rear hands of that ball off this time to number 24. Maybe got a yard or two before he is finally brought down. On the run that time for the dogs was Amari Grenaway. Picked up a couple of tough ones on the right side. So they're down to the 48 yard line of Conneaut. Plays being run in and out here. This time looks like was it? Number 40 bringing in the uh, play. It looks like it. For the dogs, number 40, that will be. Overlay. Overlay. Cameron. I believe the other one was 35. All right, here we go. Man in motion. Hand off. Right straight up the middle. Oh, he came head up, down, nailed him. Nailed, Somebody yeah. come up. Looks like number 56 for Connie was there, Big Gare. Who is that? At least he got him wrapped up. Yeah, he did. Devin Miller. Devin Miller, Jr. Wraps him up after about a one-yard gain. Yeah. Good job coming up there. Third and about seven to go for Meadville. Leading it 51 to nothing as we move under nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Meadville to the line of scrimmage, third and seven. Flip under center, back. Hands the ball off, sweeping to the near side of the field, to the left side of the field. Breaks off one tackle, off another, spun down. Connie was right there to bring him down. Yeah, but he got the first down. On the run that time for the Meadville Bulldogs was once again Phillips. Three got up, up, a little slow there. Looks like he's limping for Connie. And he's going out, and he is limping, so hopefully he'll be all right. Well, it's another first down. Oh, I'll mark that down. Meadville cashes in again, down to the cash 38 yard line. Mitchell Blood, 88, he went out. Feeney, that is number three, who went out limping. Man in motion again. The motion man's got it. Turns that ball up There's the field. 56 again. Yep. He'll bring him down wow. back in the backfield. Miller again. Well, they lost real estate on that one. Well, no place to go that time for the dogs. Amari, NOI. Devin Miller, 56. Somebody fired him up. Right back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for Meadville. I love it. Clock shows 7.45 to go fourth quarter. Meadville, 51. Conneaut, nothing. Meadville shut out Conneaut last year. Philippa. Hands the ball off to the back. Turning the corner. Spinning off a one tackle, but not this one. Couple cash eagles are there to bring him down. 80 come up and brought him down. Running for the dogs, Ryan Overton. Another first down. Blake White shot up there and brought him down, a freshman. But yet another first down for the dogs. They have the ball at the Conneaut. 27 yard line. Yet to take it to the air in the second half because they don't have to. 
Not when you have a running clock. No, when you got a, a turning right in. 30, 25, 20, back. 15. Still on his feet. Yeah. Maybe down to the 14 yard line. Nice run once again by Amari. Right run into, away. Right into the red zone. Brought to you by McCandless Ford. Locations in Meadville. A location in Mercer and Meadville. So stop in tomorrow. Why don't you take a look at a brand new or previously owned vehicle from none other than McCandless Ford. Absolutely. Gets a new set of wheels before winter gets Might here. drive off in an F-150 oh, or 250, oh. whatever. Or 350, yeah. yeah whatever, yeah. Go right up the line. Or maybe just an automobile, which is fine. Here's the handoff again, 15 at 10. Trying to get to the outside, and they drag him out of bounds. 25 over there this time for Conneaut. Mm, I don't have a 25. You got a 25 on your roster? For the roster? Conneaut Eagles, yes, I do. All right, lay it on me. That is Alex Pascarve. Dogs continue to move. Mark up another first down for the dogs. He's a sophomore. All right. Second and goal. Philippa hands off left sack inside the five. Maybe down to about the four yard line. Colton Stewart in on the tackle. Number five for the County Out Eagles. He is a junior. I think you're right, Chuck. I look on this roster, there's only two seniors. 14 and six. I think if you lock on the back, big gear of the Meadville All when right. you got there, yeah. Connie, it's on the other side. All right. First and 10. Oh, he's gonna walk right in. Flag goes down, forget it. No, nope, bring it back, probably another holding. Once again, going into the end zone for the dogs. Let me shuffle my papers here. Yeah, that was a uh, runaway once again, but offensive holding, bring it back. That's about, what, the third touchdown called back tonight because yeah, of penalties, it's gotta, Gary? It's got to be, yeah. 4.39 remains in this one, 51 nothing Meadville. In there now with their second string. They, they, in the first half, they really had about eight and two were declined. They ended up with six for 65. They're already at five penalties. Manny in motion. Back to pass. Dumps the ball off. Wide open. Ten. Five. Easy touchdown. So they finally take it to the air. Look what happens. And it is Grenaway with a touchdown, Amari. And the dogs now over 400 yards in this ball game tonight, Gary. Unbelievable. And once again, penalties in that series, but they marched some 70 yards. Fifty-seven to nothing for the extra two. Nope. Buried in the backfield. Timeout on the field. Fifty-seven to nothing dogs. We'll be back on Cool, Cool TV and Armstrong right after we take a 30-second pause. Armstrong has a long history of fighting food insecurity in our communities through breaking bread events. Here's how you can help. We're celebrating our sixth annual Avenge Hunger Month. Join us in supporting local food banks and soup kitchens by dropping off these most requested items to your local Armstrong office between August 28th and October 1st. Together, we can knock out hunger. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash breaking bread to find a list of community feeding programs in your area. 53 yards unofficially. Dogs here tonight. Just moving up down the field with leisure. With 4.09 remaining on the clock, the dogs are teeing it up. Well, let's see now if Conniot can do something here, probably against the second defense of Meadville here. Try to get a little confidence, get on the scoreboard. Dogs ready to kick it off. Cash still around there, Coach. 
Josh Blood. Hope you've enjoyed our broadcast tonight here on Cool, whether you're listening to it on the radio or on TV. On the Cool stream, on our Facebook, or on Armstrong tonight. Plenty of places to pick up That's right. our broadcast. Welcome you aboard wherever you may be, and a kick. Is a win. Nice one. Line drive down the field. Captured at about the 21. 30. 35, 40, stutter stepping and brought down around the 43 yard line. Nice return. That was number 80. Yep. On the return for the Conneaut Eagles. Number 80 is Blake White, just a freshman, 5'8. Yeah, he was in on a couple of tackles there on the defense. There's your future players getting some experience. Yeah, absolutely. Now well, let's see if these are still out there quarterbacking for Connie Ott. I don't know who their backup quarterback is. Let's have to take a look at the roster. Yeah, I flipped it over, Chuck. There's still two seniors on this one. Okay. So it is really a young team. Grover's now doing the quarterback and got trying to get a block. They block him, but he gets stripped off, crossed the way, and brought down. Logan Grover is a senior at 5'8", one of the seniors on this club. But only two of them, as you said, Big Air. The other one is number 14. Guts. So we're now down to under three minutes remaining in this confrontation tonight. A lot of sophomores, freshmen, and a lot of juniors. All right. Mandy in motion. Grover, fake handoff, keeps it. He's losing ground, turns up the field, but he's going to lose yardage. He brought down across the way. Trying to sweep left, but... That was not to be. He's going to lose another four or five yards. Ball set back in the side of the 35-yard line. Well, K started on their 42. And they're back to the 34. That's not good. Less than two minutes left. Been a long time in the huddle. In the shotgun for Groover. Keeps it himself. Up the middle, puts his head down, crushes back. And they're gonna say down. Close to the 40. Just short of the 40. Yeah, one official's dipped back here at the 38-yard line. Another official spots it at the 40. Uh, yeah, I know. It's been going on all night. There'd be a yard, two yards difference with all of them. So it's fourth down and 12. How's it go for it, Big Gear? What do you got to lose here when you're down 57 to nothing? And they will. If we will let hold everything Flags now. Flags uh, everywhere. Well, they threw it on Meadville's side, so let's see what they're going to call. Turning around, they're going to march this off against Meadville. I didn't see the indication. Maybe an illegal procedure. Yep, five-yard penalty. Up to the 45-yard line, so it's a little shorter for Connie on. Fourth and about seven. Well, they got their sixth penalty. Only a half a minute to go, and this one will be over tonight. This might be the final play of the game for the Cash 
Mays meeting here tonight at Benton Deerfield. In the pistol, man in motion. Turns around, hands it off, counter. 45, midfield, still on his feet. First right down. down. inside the 45-yard line. That's their first, first down. The, the clock's going to run out, I do believe. They'd... Sandell on the carry. That's going to be the final play of the game. Final score tonight from Bender Field in Meadville. It is the Meadville Bulldogs, 57. The Connie Eagles, nothing. Back with a wrap-up on Cool 101.7 and also on Cool TV. And we'll break away from Armstrong now. Thank you, viewers, very much.